guys, what's up? So today I have something very special that I wanted to show you and it's actually been at my house for a very long time. It's just I haven't really had much time to work on it and if I did have time, I didn't have space. As you can see here, I now have space. So now that I have space, I just need to find the time to work on this bad boy. Uh, this is my dad's Volvo, he's working on it. And then this is my dad's uh, prized possession. Mm -hmm. It's uh, <laughs> it's pretty nice. I will tell you what it is, but I'd rather you guess in the comments below. Then we also have my dad's uh, flip car, which is a C3. And oh, all right, so here it is, guys. It is oh, an 85 Toyota Celica Supra. So, yeah, I'm gonna be working on her. We picked her up for like $300 at the auction. It's been pretty, pretty awesome. Interior is not so bad. The seats are really comfortable. Let's see if she starts up. It's been, it's honestly been a while, so maybe the battery died. I'm not exactly sure. Got a nice engine, and check this out. The timing belt was replaced at 86,000 miles. So that's pretty dope. Anyways, just do that for now. All right. I don't know about you, but I always check myself out whenever I see my reflection on the car window. Maybe you guys do that too, I don't know. So let's, uh, let's give her a crank here. That's a good sign. Make sure it's out of gear. Probably don't need to prime it. Ooh. It starts right up. I'm not lying. This is the first time I started it up in like maybe two or three months. So it's pretty dope. All right, so I'm gonna pull her around back into the garage and give you a rundown on all the things that need to be worked on her before she's roadworthy. So I'll see you guys back there. <laughs> Fits in quite nicely. She's running pretty good. Let's uh, pop the hood real quick. So then the first thing I need to do is move everything so that I get to the uh, main frame and weld it together because the previous battery leaked battery acid and completely ate away the frame. Uh, other than that, it should be pretty drivable. The next thing I need to do is work on all of the uh, brakes because the brakes are pretty bad. The mirrors don't uh, adjust, at least not yet. And you can't really see out the back. So I need to remove the tint and that's pretty much it. Uh, maybe a few more things will come up over time, but yeah, I think it's a great project car, especially since it has a nice strong engine with a new timing belt on it. Anyways, that is it folks. This is my project car. This is what I wanted to show you for so long. Now that I have time and space, you're gonna see me working on her a lot more and I'm gonna be pumping out a lot more videos. So I hope that this uh, inspires you. Hopefully that you guys could follow me along this journey of just repairing her and fixing her up and just driving her. I can't wait to drive around the road and take her to meets and stuff. And I hope that you guys will be there with me to see it. If you guys want to, please subscribe and hit that notification button because I would love for you to be a part of this journey. And if so, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.